So I have some requirements when it comes to a good daily sunscreen. Number one, there should be no scent or very minimal scent. Number two, it should absorb quickly and does not leave a white cast. Number three, SPF 50. Number four, you can easily reapply throughout the day without it looking streaky, gunky, or peel off. Number five, works well under makeup application. I have compiled a bunch of sunscreens that meet those criteria. I also got all of these sunscreens from YesStyle, which is also today's amazing sponsor. YesStyle is an online platform that specializes in selling Asian fashion, beauty, and lifestyle products. The website offers a wide range of items including clothing, so I had to add these beautiful dresses to my cart, accessories such as this sun hat and this white cap, and beauty products that have gone viral on TikTok. I have a discount code that is TINANGO10 and will give you 10% off of your order over $49. With that said, thank you YesStyle for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into our sunscreens. So I'm gonna start with the one that is super lightweight and then it's gonna get thicker and thicker as we go and then we're gonna end with some balm sun sticks. So this is the first sunscreen that we have right here. It is the Face Republic Glow Screen Sun Gel, SPF 50 of course. It should give you a radiant glow with a non-sticky finish. It is weightless, it is reef friendly and it's a vegan formula as well. Oh my God, it is so lightweight. It's almost like a runny texture. It glides on the skin so smooth smoothly, it absorbs so quickly, and it barely feels like you have anything on, but it leaves your skin very moisturized, and me as a dry girly, I love that. I did mention before that I do not like scent on my face, but this has like a very, very minimal citrus scent. Very refreshing and easy sunscreen to work with. It's very affordable as well, and I think that this would work well on any skin type just because it is so light. So the next sunscreen is from Beauty of Joseon. It's the Jensen Moist Sun Serum. I think that this is relatively new, so I'm glad that I tried it out. It's amazing. The texture is kind of like a serum gel texture. It's firm, but it's very lightweight. Glides onto the skin like a dream. It just kind of melts into the skin. I'm being extremely picky and like nitty gritty here, but it does have a little bit of an alcohol scent. And if you don't mind that, and just like the previous sunscreen, this one does also leave like a, a dewy, moisturized look, but not sweaty and oily. Reapplying is no issue whatsoever. It is amazing. This is definitely worth the hype. Number three is the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Replenishes moisture, eight types of hyaluronic acid, and no white cast. And all of that is correct. This one feels more of like a moisturizer than the other previous ones. If you have dry skin, you are gonna love this sunscreen because it has hyaluronic acid in it. Hyaluronic acid is a ingredient that draws moisture from your environment onto your face. There is the tiniest amount of sunscreen smell with this one, but it is nothing to worry about at all. I'm just being very, very picky with the scent here, just because I'm super sensitive to it. And when I mean sunscreen smell, I don't mean like the coconut tropical smell. It's just like a sunscreen smell, you know? Still meets all of the requirements that we mentioned earlier. And it's just a great, great sunscreen overall. So the next sunscreen, you have probably seen it everywhere, and it is the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun. It is so good. It is totally worth the hype. The price of this and the quality of this is amazing. So lightweight. And honestly, this is my own opinion. I feel like people that had a bad experience with the Beauty of Joseon Sun Relief accidentally bought a knockoff version because there is no way that they bought the real version and it peels and it's bad and it's gunky like people say it is because the real one is amazing. I actually saw a video on how to spot like the fake version of this and it looks freakishly similar but the text on the knockoff version is a little bit bolder it's a bit thicker and darker and the real bottle if you kind of like pinch the bottle it leaves a little dent like that but the knockoff version is more of like when you pinch it it doesn't nothing happens so that's two ways to spot this fake sunscreen but also obviously the third one if it's flaky and not good you probably got a knockoff version because flaky wear like if it's gonna be flaky on anyone it's on dry skin and I did not feel that with this sunscreen at all 
Next sunscreen is from iUnique. It is the Centella Calming Daily Sunscreen. Centella Asiatica Extract 49%, UVA and UVB protection, soft texture and moisturizing. Yes, it is, baby. If you guys don't know what Centella is, it is a plant that is very calming for the skin. So if you have like dry and irritated skin, She's the one! So good, so lightweight, but very soft and moisturizing like they mentioned. The texture is beautiful, very easy sunscreen to work with. The Centella will help calm your skin down. And I love Centella products in general. I feel like I have Centella in everything <laughs> in my skincare right now. Amazing ingredient. It has been in the game in the Asian culture for such a long time and I'm so glad that Centella is getting recognition now. This is an amazing sunscreen. Next sunscreen is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Water Fit Sun Serum. I have used this sunscreen for months now. It is amazing. It gives me a very nice dewy finish. It does have a little bit of a thicker consistency than the other ones that I mentioned and this is for the days where I feel like my skin is more on the dry side and just I just need some extra moisture and extra nourishment to my skin. This is actually my second bottle. I had to repurchase it. It is so good. And I don't know about you guys, but I get really attached to like a product. So sometimes when I'm using it for a long time, I just have to repurchase it. Every sunscreen that I mentioned now works very well under makeup, but this one has like a grippy feel to it so my makeup always feels a little bit more dewy and radiant when i have that underneath and it's kind of sticky as well so that makeup really latches onto the skin love this product moving on to the next sunscreen it is the super mild sun essence it absorbs so quickly onto the skin it doesn't leave a greasy residue it does give you a little glow though and it doesn't have that sticky feel like the centella one ah why am i dropping everything and I think that this is the most affordable sunscreen that we have today actually It is so so good, it doesn't have any scent to it SPF 50, you know, it meets all of the requirements that we are looking for Reapplication is hassle free, doesn't peel I just feel like this doesn't really get the hype that it deserves Okay, the next sunscreen is from Annua I'm probably butchering every single name and I'm sorry. It is called the Heartleaf Silky Moisture Sun Cream. And baby, when I tell you it is silky, it feels like silk on your skin. It really fits the, the name. It kind of feels like a, a moisturizer and a, a primer. Like I said a billion times now, I feel like this is still very lightweight. I love the packaging. I am a sucker for this green color right here. It does not leave a white cast. It absorbs so well into the skin. Easy to reapply. Chef's kiss. I've seen this brand all over my For You page lately and their toner is popping off. Next sunscreen, oh my gosh, look at the packaging. This one is so freaking cute. I love the color. It is the Black Rice Pure Mineral Relief Daily Sunscreen for sensitive skin. And this one is definitely on the thicker consistency side. This one is the thickest of them all. I don't mind, like I said, I have dry and sensitive skin. So, I mean, this could work for me on a lot of days, honestly, especially in the drier seasons. It does take a while for it to absorb into the skin, but once it does, you're good. And it kind of feels like a skincare and sunscreen. I know that that's kind of like the same thing, but I feel like this is very nourishing in a different way just because it's so thick. I'm just speculating, but I don't think this is great for oily skin just because it is a thicker consistency. Everything that I mentioned before, I think it could work on oily skin. So for all of my dry skin folks out there, if you have sensitive, flaky, and very very dry skin a sun balm is probably a better option for you balms provide a very nice protection to your skin and it deeply deeply nourish the skin using like butters plant oils waxes which i think can be very good for that certain skin type first one is the aqua balm and it is from kahi i believe i don't know if i'm saying that right what i like about this balm is that it is smaller usually when you see a sun stick it looks like a sun block it's more like a rectangular block but this one feels like a lip balm but a bigger version of it and you can really get into like the corners and kind of be very precise with it one thing about this though just because i am super sensitive about scent it does have a little scent to it and it smells like soap um, I don't know. It's a clean smell, so it's nothing like overwhelming or anything But I do want to mention that it does have a scent to it So if you don't mind that and you want to smell like soap, 
<laughs> this is the one baby then we have the abib quick sunstick protection bar so this looks a little bit more like the traditional sunstick rectangular but it is a bit curved as well which i know it's a really small detail but application wise it just feels nicer when it's a bit curved i feel like it kind of hugs your face and really gets into it you can barely see it when you apply it onto your skin it is so light but very very nourishing it is a bit oily in consistency just because it's a balm with a sunstick or a sun balm like this you do have to go over the area a couple of times so that you get you know the full coverage this is an amazing quality sunstick adore it love it one really common question about sunscreen is how do you reapply it over makeup the honest answer if you have a full face of makeup on there is no sunscreen that is not gonna move your makeup there are some sun spray option where you can kind of just spray it all over your face like a what's it called like a setting spray now i have tried a couple of those problem with those in my opinion i think you have to have alcohol in it for it to like spray but almost all the time when i try one of those sun sprays it just smells like alcohol my eyes burn so personally i do not reapply my sunscreen if i have makeup on honestly i just put a hat on and call it a day stay in the shade put a hat on cover up so i'm sorry if that's not really the answer you were looking for <laughs> you probably wanted me to provide a sunscreen you know over makeup but i just feel like there's no way there's just no way that a cream goes over your makeup and your makeup won't budge or your makeup will stay the same that's just not possible come on one plus one equals two. Uh, I also got these. This is one of the hats. Ah, so cute. This should protect me for a couple of hours. And obviously, if you're wearing something a bit more casual, you don't want to be walking around with a sun hat, maybe. So I do also have a white cap. Darker caps just draws more heat from the sun onto it. So I just like a white or a lighter color cap so I don't get overheated. So caps are very cute option as well for protection and this way you won't mess up your makeup thank you so much for watching today's video i hope this was helpful in any way shape or form let me know if you have tried any of these sunscreen what skin type you have let's have a discussion down below on sunscreen and give each other tips and tricks on what to do with sunscreen because it is very very important to apply sunscreen every single day not just for anti-aging purposes okay it's an it's a privilege to age so i'm not scared of wrinkles it's not that but I'm very scared of skin cancer. Anyways, with that said, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you in my next one. Bye.